Hey, tonight's review is on Salt and Peppa Lifetime movie. Now, you know when you're dealing with Lifetime, it's hit or miss on the biopics because I'm still upset about the Aaliyah one. I just, I don't know what was going on with them that day. But uh, this was pretty good. There's there's some parts that I was like WTF, and I'll get to those in a minute. But anyways, it's about three hours long, close to three hours. And, um, but it's a nice, it's an easy watch. It's not like it drags. It follows Cheryl and Sandy from the time they met in community college, them starting to know how to rap all the way through to like, um, they said 2005, they did a award show on VH1. So a few things I forgot that they knew Kid and Play and Martin Lawrence, like they all kind of came up at that same time, late, late, mid, late eighties, early nineties, as far as entertainment. I will say something, and this is what I was saying I was going to get to. Whoever they cast for Martin Lawrence, Martin was like in his early 20s at that time. This dude looked like he was about 38, and he was a little chunky. You know, Martin, he a little chunky now, but back then he was, you know, slim slim and trim. So I don't know if, you know, Lifetime has a budget. That's just how they had to do it. <laughs> but uh, anyway... um. It left a few things out like I was hoping to see um, when Salt was on the Kirk Franklin thing that was in back in like 97 I believe and they didn't show that and they didn't really get too much into Spin like I like DJ Spin I, I, I liked her verse the best on uh, What a Man but they did keep it just pretty much on Cheryl and or should I say Salt and Pepper. They kept pretty much on them, showed the ups and downs of some things. And I will say, you know, Saul was dating the producer, manager, whatever he was, Herbie, before they got big and after they got big, right? So there was a scene where a girl calls and she's like, can I speak to Herbie? And Saul was like, well, you know, he's busy right now. What's, what's up? Can I take a message? And the girl was like, well, um, tell him to change them sheets in the basement. And so she gets off the phone because they're in the basement. That's where the studio is. Saul gets off the phone. She kind of side eyes the bed and then she sits next to Herbie. And he's like, who was that? She was like, wrong number. And I'm like, that is what you call strong as hell. Like some people say she's stupid. She should have cussed his ass out. Okay, you're doing business with this man first and foremost. So it's like you have to keep your emotions out of it, even though they were in a relationship. So I can totally understand why she stayed and dealt with it she eventually did leave him but you have to look at the big picture because if she would have said forget this da, 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 they may have not accomplished what they accomplished uh even more so because she was with contract with herbie and all this stuff i think that's a lesson though it's really not good there's exceptions to every rule but dating somebody and working with them working for them I would say that's even worse. But, you know, mixing business with pleasure, sometimes that works, sometimes that doesn't. Uh, more so, no. I couldn't picture myself dating, date, dating someone, living with them and working with them. Like, we need a break from each other. Eh. But I will say this, the Salt and Pepper movie, it was not on the list of lifetime biopic fails because they have a list. Trust, when they say, oh, so-and-so got a lifetime movie, it's like, okay, well, you know. But one thing that made me watch this is Salt and Pepper, I believe executive, executive produced it or produced it. They were a part of it some kind of way. So I said, okay. If, if they have a say-so in their story, I'll watch it. And I can appreciate that, okay, you're letting the actual artist be a part of the, the telling of their story. So that's cool. Another shout-out is to Mario Van Peoples, who this man got to be about 65, and he's still delicious. But he played the minister, and even though his part was small, you know, uh, it was very engaging i mean even that small role you know because when you're in a movie <clears throat> and you have a small role it helps that he's well known too 
people be like, oh, that's Mar- Mario Van Peebles. But, you know, that was a scene where Salt pretty much had an awakening and was like, I can't, I got to cut this off. At the time, she felt like it was just toxic for her life being in a group Salt and Pepper. And that part made me cry when she called Pepper. She was like, I just can't do this anymore. And there was a scene where Peppa almost was contemplating suicide. And her son was like, Mommy, there's somebody on the phone. And it stopped her, you know. You just never know what people are going through. And um, this makes me want to look up some of their songs. I could say that um, I'm 33. So when Salt and Peppa first came out, I wasn't on the earth yet. But my earliest memories of Salt and Peppa was that album that they had Shoot on and What a Man, What a Man. Because I was like in first grade. So I used to watch the video on MTV. So when I think of Salt and Pepper, that's that's what comes to mind for me because that was my memories of them. And I'm looking back, I was lucky to, you know, see that because they really are empowering to women. And there's a song that they put out called uh Dang, It's All in Me. I can be anything that I want. It's like a self-empowerment song. Ain't nothing but a she thing. That's what it is. I'm trying to keep them showing the top of my backdrop. I got lucky with this backdrop too. It was on clearance for $5 at Hobby Lobby. And it was like originally $20. It's only a yard. I think I might need to get like two or three yards. So it doesn't show as I move the camera. I'm progressing y'all. I'm progressing. But anyways, Wendy Williams got a movie coming out on Lifetime. Will it make the hit or miss list? We shall find out because I'm going to do a review on that as well next week. Y'all have a good one. Peace and blessings.